yep it's time for a little bit of a change baby oh my gosh <laughs> guys welcome and welcome back to my channel so you guys in today's video as you can tell by the title I'm cutting his hair that's, that's pretty much all I got to say I'm cutting the hair so you guys some of you who have been following me for a very very long time know that my hair has been like this for a good bit of time okay but uh, if you have been following me for a long time you also know that I made a past video about how blonde hair pretty much has been just damaging my hair and damaging my ends and right now I come to the conclusion that I actually just need to cut this thing off and we're gonna start fresh I'm not sure if I'm gonna cut off all of the blonde because I have a lot of blonde to work with but I'm gonna cut a bit a good bit off um I actually just want to cut it into like a high taper ish I have a lot of length up here I gotta cut it off y'all I don't know if y'all like from my previous videos like when I do my hair like my ends are so freaking frizzy and like it just can't hold a curl too long and I'm just kind of like just over it at this point like I feel like I can't do another video a full video like styling my hair and seeing these ends anymore I just can't I feel like I just cannot do this to you guys I can't do it to myself so I'm gonna just cut this thing off okay now some of the blonde, like I said, is still going to be there, but for the most part, we're going to cut it off, okay? Now, my goal for this year and throughout, I've always said, is healthier hair, and I feel like as soon as I did this blonde, it just went down the drain. Now, when I had the red hair, it was completely fine. I didn't really have issues. This blonde, and it was a box dye, Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, that was, that was, it wasn't, wasn't good. So... We are going to cut this hair today on camera and I've never actually cut my hair like a lot on camera. Maybe just trim my ends or whatever like that but nothing serious. Now I've actually cut my hair two times into a taper in the past as before I had YouTube. So it's going to be a little bit different because you know y'all watching me even though I'm technically in my room by myself. It's still like I got like a little audience going on so I'm a little nervous and I'm, I'm scared to make a little mistake. Even though the last two times I did it by myself with no care in the world. I don't, I don't know. It's just different now. I have some scissors with me. These are from Ulta. I have some hair clips to divide my hair into four. My cosmology brush to just detangle this hair because I just took out my bantu knot. If you can see, just from here, like, look at my ends. Like, it's just not. I can't do this no more, y'all. Like, and it's so light. And the crazy thing, like I mentioned in the whole blonde video, is the fact that, um, that when I first dyed my hair, it was not not that light y'all it was not so like one thing that i learned is just blonde hair just it seems to like continuously still process after the fact after you have dyed it and i feel like i dyed my blonde hair like i don't know maybe like the end of last year i think not really sure so i'm gonna just comb this out and then i'm gonna come back with it um all combed out Okay, you guys, so this is what my hair looking like all combed out. Nice and voluminous, but we're not going to have that no more. So I'm going to go ahead and divide this into four sections. I just feel like dividing into four sections will give me a little bit of peace. I'm not really sure if I did it the last time. The first time that I actually cut my hair into like a high taper, my older sister actually helped me out. Um, She's not here with me. I'm going to get through this. I'm going to get through this. So, um... So yeah, just it's just very important to me to have um, healthy hair more than length. I mean, to me anyways, hair is hair and it will always grow back. So it's never like a big deal to where I'm like, oh my gosh, like my hair, you know, type of thing. So it'll always grow back. And one thing with my hair it has always grown back. Now, mind you guys, I am no type of beautician you know a hair beautician nothing like that so this is just for entertainment for you guys okay um i am no professional disclaimer here i'm no professional but if you do want to follow me along and you want to do your whole big chop thing or whatever like that then sis do your thing but yeah so i have my mary here with me um i'm a little nervous you guys i'm not gonna lie y'all 
I don't even know what to really start. But um, just to tell, I have a lot of dark hair here um, and not that much blonde. So uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna just cut like that much off probably and just go that much and kind of go like a downward slope in a way. So it can be like a taper. So we will see. So I'm gonna start off with, how do I wanna start this off y'all? I don't even know. I need assistance. <laughs> Okay, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just divide this second part in half. And then we're going to go from there. Okay, you guys. So, we are going to go... Oh, we're going to do it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh, you guys. I cannot. I need to breathe. I can't breathe. That is a lot of hair. Okay. But it's like when I pulled my hair, it didn't look like it was going to be that much until I'm touching it now. And I'm like, God damn, like my hair is like not there. It's like not there. Um, but yeah, so I have this much of hair chopped off all of this blonde. It is what it is. Um, so yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and finish off the top portion of this. And we're gonna keep going. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I need to make sure that these backs is even with this side. So I'm just comparing the two, kind of, to my best ability. Okay. And then we chop. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so the girl just did a mini, a mini big chop. And no lie, when I cut that first back piece back here, I was freaking nervous as crap. Okay, I'm not gonna even curse. I was nervous as hell. Um, But yeah, like when I was getting into it, I was like, I don't know, just like a sense of relief. No lie. Let me show you how much hair I actually cut off just now. So we have this much of hair gone. It's all gone. Y'all, like, it's so much blonde in here. So much damage. So much negativity in my hand right now. I'm glad to let it go. But, you guys, like, I feel like my hair is going to turn out really, really healthy after a while now over time i will continuously cut out this um top of this blonde um but i didn't want it to be too short because like i said i did want to have some height in the front um but it's not that much blonde left up here i mean i may actually cut a little bit more off off camera but this will do like i'm really really happy um getting this because i kind of got the shape that i want I believe so. Hopefully, I will really see once I style my hair. But yeah, so yeah. So you guys, so if y'all did enjoy this video of me doing my mini big chop on the camera, go ahead and give this video a nice thumbs up. And if you have not already subscribed to this channel, subscribe right now. Click that good old red subscribe button, turn it gray. Hit that bell notification and subscribe button so you can be notified every time when I post a new video and you don't miss any future uploads. Bye guys.